How you doing dessert junkies? I hope you are well and you'll notice that I look a bit more like me. This week I um, bought myself a new camera. I'm using a Canon 700D and it's a little bit scary how well it brings up my face. Anyway, um, so that's what's going on in my week this week and of course last week was my birthday on Thursday. I had a great day. I went to Sydney with my brother Adam who is about to go to Europe for two years so we had a great brother and sister day. Anyway, this week's video I'm going to show you is how to make gluten-free chiros. Now, you can make these even if you aren't a gluten-free person. You can just swap the gluten-free flour for plain flour. And it's only fair, you know, dessert junkies who can't have gluten, they deserve some dessert as well. So, this is how you make my gluten-free chiros. Okay guys, to get started we need to boil some water in our fry pan. And once the water has started to go to a rapid boil, then you want to add in your butter. And this is one of the perks of working with steam in a lens. But it's like an awesome effect, trust me. Once your butter has melted, then it's time to start adding in your sugar. And all the ingredients are listed below for you and they are listed in grams. Also, just a good little pinch of salt there and wait for it to steam up a little bit. Then take it off the heat, but still keep it there. And you want to add it in your flour here. So this is where you would change it out for gluten-free flour for those who can't have the gluten. And essentially you want to beat the crap out of this so it all comes together into one lump. This is going to make your dough. So as you can see, it's sort of pulling away and making it's all going together. That's what you want to do. Took me around five minutes. It's a good workout, guys. You're going to have like guns of steel here. Then you want to transfer this to a bowl and you want to add three eggs. Do each egg one at a time and use an electric mixer to mix this well into the floured dough nutty mixture. So yeah, wait for one to combine, add the next one, the next one. You guys get the uh, drill. It will, once again, come nice together, big lump, and you know, when it's going up the blades, that's when you're done. To make cinnamon sugar, it's really easy. It's sort of one part, 10 part sugar. So one cup of sugar, of like caster sugar, to around one teaspoon of cinnamon. Of course, add more cinnamon if you like cinnamon. Now you're gonna need a star tip to make the churros. My star tip, not so big. And I wasn't gonna go and buy a new one. Use the equipment that you have, guys. So these are going to be miniature ones. So just imagine these on a grander scale. Pop the filling into your piping bag and don't overfill. And then there's the trick to this. So essentially you want to squeeze for a bit and then cut. Using some scissors works the best and allow your churros to fry in oil that you have preheated to about 180 degrees. Best way of testing it is test it with a little bit of the churros dough and if it bubbles up like so, you're hot enough. Any lower and it'll absorb the oil, any hotter it'll just burn in two seconds. So it takes about two or three minutes to brown and then take them out, let them dry on some paper towel that I've got there, and then sprinkle them in the cinnamon sugar. They should be cool to the touch, but still warm enough so that the cinnamon sugar sticks to the churros. Now, if you like your churros with chocolate dipping sauce, this is where the quickest and easiest way is some chocolate melted bits and some very hot milk. Add the milk as you go. I probably added a little bit too much milk here, guys. And just allow it to whisk and it'll slowly melt the chocolate. As it cools, it will become thicker. If you like your chocolate dipping sauce with a dutch of chili, feel free to add a little pinch of chili powder at this point. There you have it, guys. Little mini churros. They can be gluten-free. They are so yum! So there you have it, guys. How simple and easy. These take seconds to make and really they'll probably last seconds in your house too. Trust me, there was like a horde <laughs> went for them. If you like what you see and you really really want to see more dessert junkie videos, please hit the subscribe button. It is below you. That's that little red button or on the link if you're watching on a mobile device. And we will see you next Wednesday for another dessert junkie video. See you guys.